Hey everyone. So this video is going to be a little solemn. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, Nintendo's global president, Satoru Iwata, passed away yesterday due to a tumor in the bile duct area that he had tried to take care of before last year. But unfortunately, he came back stronger and uh, ended, ended up taking his life. And he was 55, which is very young. So today, I have some Smash Brothers gameplay. I just wanted to put my best foot forward by showing the impact Sakurai has made on this franchise, as far as Smash Brothers is concerned. And of course, he has major impact on many other franchises as well that I'll, I'll get into later. But first, uh, let me read a quote from him. I think this was around the early 2000s during an E3. Uh, he said, On my business card, I am a corporate president. In my mind, I am a game developer. But in my heart, I am a gamer. You know, that, that really rings true with me. You know, it really shows that he had a passion for this industry and he had a passion for making Nintendo games. And that's one of the reasons why I really appreciate the fact that he was a CEO, but he was also a programmer. You know, he was also a developer. And he, and he loved his games. And he loved seeing people play Nintendo games. Um, one of the major uh, influences he had was helping to make the Kirby franchise a thing. Uh, he helped. He worked with Masahiro Sakurai, not only for Kirby, but also for Smash Brothers. And he also helped to program the first game on 64 and then also debug Melee. And my first encounter with his name was in the Pokemon franchise. Uh, I was playing Pokemon Blue, that was the first Pokemon game I owned. And after I beat the champion, you know, so many times, right? It's like, do you like to get a lot of money? And that was one of the ways to do it, was to beat the champion. Uh, you always saw his name in the credits. And an interesting fact that I had learned was during the development of Gold and Silver, a Game Freak had everything coded for the Johto region. And they had the idea of putting in Kanto, but they didn't have enough space in the game pack. So they had to get some help from Iwata-san, and he was able to compress the the file size down for the Johto region enough so that they could fit in Kanto as well. And that was really amazing. Uh, another programming feat he had that was really impactful was on Earthbound. Uh, he essentially saved the game from being cancelled by reprogramming everything in that game and working day and night for six months you know that that is intense dedication and I'm sure a lot of mother fans appreciate that Earthbound is the game that it is today because of his hard work you know it's just a testament to his passion and you could also tell like during the N64 era during the GameCube era, during the Wii era, and uh, even on through today's Wii U era, you always see him as a producer, an executive producer, for many titles of Nintendo. And it's it's just really great to see that he's at least had a hand, he's at least had the decision making there for all of those games. You know, he, he's had a hand in it. Despite his sometimes questionable decisions as a global president, you know, he was a very positive figure as president. And he, I mean, he helped get Nintendo Direct to be a thing. He, he brought the news directly to you, you know? And he also was at the forefront of making his own series, you know, Iwata Asks where he shared his passion for 
game development. And he had other game developers uh, on so that they could discuss, you know, all the behind the scenes stuff that goes into developing games. And it's amazing to see. And I probably should give those a watch because they really are good. And he has some pretty good guests on as well. But at first I didn't, I couldn't believe it because, you know, it's the internet and I wasn't sure if it was real or not. But after I gotten back from Red Lobster for dinner, I checked my Facebook and I saw the Kotaku article first. That's what made me kind of skeptical initially, but... And then I got a Twitter notification on my phone telling me, you know, a couple of my followers were uh, using the hashtag rest in peace Iwata. So that's when I pretty much figured it was legit, unfortunately. And before I leave, I just wanted to say and give my condolences to Iwata-san's family and friends. And... To Wada himself, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for Nintendo. You had a major impact. And we'll never forget that. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Leave your thoughts and your well wishes. And... You know, this month's been pretty difficult for me. You know, I've had I've had a loss of my family. But You know, we're going to get through this. We're still here. Till next time. Peace y'all. I'm out.